seems like nothing now, um, just a blink. Uh, but in the five years we've been together, we've laughed and danced and smiled and frowned and been angry, been sad, felt hurt, seen death, seen life, uh, seen at least a 15 dad's new cars, <laughs> have loved, and um, there's even been times you supported me when even my own family wouldn't. Um, so there's literally not another person I'd want to spend that time with. Uh, I just want to make you a promise that I'll always love you, uh, even when you're mad at me. <laughs> Uh, I'll always take care of you. Uh, I'll always work my hardest to provide the life that you deserve. Um, the only other thing I can say is, even though the last five years have gone by so fast, uh, I'll make sure and fill the next five years, which is my, or the next eternity, <laughs> with the much love and happiness uh, as I can. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh gosh. Mine are nothing compared to his. Okay. Whew. Okay. Dang. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yours are beautiful. Okay. Morgan, five years ago, you asked me to be your girlfriend in a Brahms parking lot in Hera, America. A day will never. A day I will never forget. Five years ago, I was a girl lost and looking for a path. You have shown me what it means to truly love and to love with all your heart, to love unconditionally. You have shown me that no matter what the craziness, day, the craziness, what craziness the day brings, that I will always have you by my side to celebrate my wins and pick me up after my losses. You will never cease to amaze me every day. As I stand here today in front of you, I promise to be your forever best friend. Always support you, your popcorn addiction, and to always be able to, and always be down to watch Golden Girls with you. I promise. <laughs> I promise to always encourage you and believe in you. I promise to always keep myself open to you, always sharing my thoughts and feelings with you. I promise to love you in the good times and the bad, and I promise to always choose you today, every day, and the rest of my days. Morgan Baker Leverett, today is the day that I get to marry you, and I am the happiest person in the planet. You did so good. Thank you. <laughs> Some days I think it must be a dream. Husband, wife, Morgan, and kiss your butt. to thank Morgan and Kennedy's family who have put, put in so much love, thought, and effort into making this beautiful night possible. It really warms my heart to see my two best friends loved by so many people. <laughs> I have been the third wheel to this couple for a good four years now. Morgan has been a pretty good chair. He's been pretty good at sharing the passenger seat with me, though, which I have always appreciated. 
When I first met him, I had no idea two completely opposite people could make such a perfect couple. If you know them both, you know what I mean. Morgan, I'd like to thank you for loving my best friends in ways that I cannot. I've been saying this for a while now. These are my vows to Kennedy. <laughs> this is really our night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Totally kidding, and all joking aside, I really do appreciate the way you care for her. I can see how much you love her with your actions alone. I could not any imagine anyone more perfect for Kennedy. Kennedy and I have not had the longest friendship, but our friendship has been one of the most, the one that I cherish the most. We met in high school and we knew of each other, but we never clicked at the time. Thinking about it now, I believe that the timing of our friendship was better this way. I think God knew that we weren't ready for each other just yet. He knew we needed to go through some things and some maturing before he brought us together. Our 20s hit us hard and we confided in each other through our careers with hair. I came, I came to her when I, needed, when I needed help with color formulations and techniques and we ev eventually became each other's go-tos when we needed advice. She welcomed me into her home salon when I needed a place to work and that's when our friendship blossomed. Kennedy, you are the funniest, most loving, compassionate, beautiful, and the wildest person that I have ever met. You never fail to put a smile on my face when I need it, and I'm so thankful that God placed someone so special in my path to stumble through our life with. I will cher forever cherish our late night talks, our crazy car rides jamming to 90s hip hop, <laughs> Our sleepovers where we sit on our phones while snorting and grandpa laughing at stupid videos on Facebook. <laughs> the time when we played hide and seek in your house like two giggly teenagers and so much more that I don't have enough paper to list. You're the definition of a best friend and I love you so, so much. Now, I would like the, I would like the both of you to take a look around this room and remember each and every face that you see. We are all here for the two of you. Your love has brought us all together to celebrate. Now, if everyone could please raise your glasses to the bride and groom, Kennedy and Morgan Leverett.